What will future healthcare be like? Could artificial intelligence and smart technology improve every stage of our lives? From before we're born, right through to help us live longer, better lives? I'm Sarah Lamperty and I'm here with Kath Mackay to talk about future healthcare. So Kath, will we really be able to start treatment before we're born? Yes, we already have fetal scanning and fetal surgery and these are set to improve. So future humans will potentially be able to have a better start in life. So what happens as they grow up? Well, we've got the Internet of Things and wearable technology and that will allow us to get uh, measurements from us when we're in our own homes. It will allow us to create baseline data from when we're healthy and we can use that data to work out when things aren't quite right. OK, so what if it turns out that we do need to go to the doctors? Well, when we go to the doctors, it could be like taking our car in for a service. You'll get a full body scan. Also, technology is so good that you can detect illness even from breath. OK, so you've had your scan and then what happens after? You take information from that scan and the information that you've collected at home and that could build a complete picture of your health and what's wrong with you. And that's particularly important for chronic diseases like diabetes. So what if the scan actually shows something up then? Well, the unit could call a doctor over for a consultation. Alternatively, it could dispense a treatment, a personalised medicine, and that's likely to be a medicine that's been developed by artificial intelligence. So how will that work? Well, artificial intelligence, or AI, is a new tool that allows us to generate new information from old data. So computers will sift through vast amounts of chemical or medical data, and it will take that and use that to develop new drug molecules. So what if it turns out that you do actually need to go to the hospital? Well, I think hospitals will be very different in the future. You'll have robots which will transport and move patients around hospitals. Also, algorithms will be able to take patient data and diagnose conditions much better than humans ever can. So do you think all that automation will make hospital treatment more impersonal, though? No, I don't think so. I think what will happen is it will just remove the boring bits of treatment. It will allow doctors and nurses more time to really spend with patients when it's needed. So what about the problems we usually associate with adults and older adults especially? Yeah, so you've got diseases like cancer and um, dementia, which are associated with older adults. And gene editing is a technology which could help neutralise those conditions. OK, so what exactly is gene editing? Well, gene editing is an exciting new tool which allows us to insert, delete or repair DNA. And in cancer, for example, we can use gene editing to empower the body's own immune cells to recognise and uh, delete cancer cells. So are there any other benefits to that? Well, it offers a one-time cure for these types of treatments. And this means that recovery time will be less and it means that patients will be able to return to their own homes and to work much, much quicker. So it sounds like we'll soon be getting more out of every stage of our lives. Yeah. What do you think?